guys, in case you guys, well guys, well guys, if you guys want to, guys, you guys, you guys want a group of guys, you guys want to, you guys, you guys, well guys, you guys, 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 well guys, the guys, and gals. Welcome back to Kevin's Trooper channel. This is the channel where we do all types of DIY projects for overlanding and off-roading. I'm out here playing in the garage today. It's Saturday morning. I just finished my welding cart build and I was kind of bored. So I thought, why don't we try to make our first dimple dies today? If you guys remember, not too long ago, I got in a dimple die set. Because whenever I do the skid plate project underneath the bottom of the trooper, I want to be able to put some dimple dies in there. Now, if you don't know exactly what a dimple die means, because I've had a few people not know, that's where you see the plate steel that has a hole with a little indention all the way around it. And they use dimple dies because not only does it look great, but it gives the metal some rigidity so that it doesn't quite have as much flex and it has a lot more strength. So let's get started. Oh, and by the way, if you guys see me rubbing this finger, I hit this finger with the plasma cutter earlier. If let me show you what I was doing, is I was getting ready for this video and I was cutting out some plates out of this plate steel here and I was holding my god and cutting with my plasma cutter not the smartest thing to do and so I can show you my glove you can see right there where it got hit and it just barely nicked now I'm already missing the tip of this finger so not only is that bad enough but if I wasn't missing the tip of that finger, I might be. The plasma cutter just barely grazed the end of it. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it kind of looks a little bit blistered. I tell you what, I was running that plasma cutter and I felt the heat. And I couldn't tell if I had burned the tip of my finger down to the bone or if it was just kind of a little bit hot. So I threw my glove off and I looked at it and it was black. I'm thinking, oh my goodness. So I run in there to the, to the sink and I start washing it and most of the black all came off and it's actually not as bad as I thought. But time for a new pair of welding gloves now anyway. So yeah, I cut us out these coupons like so and we're gonna put some dimple dies in these today. So let's get started. So the first step is we're gonna drill a hole in our metal and then we're gonna put the dimple die in the press and we're gonna see if we can press a dimple die in it. All right, so here's the metal cutter, the hole saw that I got, and it is made in China, like everything else, but it looks like a pretty good one. Now, I thought this was kind of neat how it comes in this box like this, and it says for wood on the front, but Amazon said it's for wood and metal, and I'm pretty sure that it is. So I'm gonna get this assembled and we'll get it in the drill and we'll start drilling us a hole. Now it comes separated like this and all I did was I put the pilot bit in and then I'm gonna tighten down this Allen screw with the supplied Allen wrench. Well that little thing's sharp. This finger is catching hell today. Okay, so that's what we're left with and I'm gonna take a punch and punch a little dentation in here and then we'll drill us a hole. Something's telling me I should at least have some gloves on. <laughs> I might have to put this piece of plywood on the floor in a flat position, but I just thought I would try this because I'm lazy. and our drill bit started slipping. So it was probably right at the end. Yeah, it's all the way through. So let me tighten this a little bit more. This really thin, cheap Allen wrench. I can get my good ones out if I need to. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of Tap Magic, which is great stuff. Just gonna put a little bit of that in there. There we go. protection on too. A little bit more. 
cutting fluid. All right, it's getting there. Yeah, that's working nice. first of all without having a drill press you don't want to do that very much for sure it's very messy you got metal shavings everywhere and we end up with this nice little nugget which will be great for capping tubing I'll hang on to these all right now let's pull this off all right hit it with a shot of brake clean Look how clean that hole is, guys. That is nice, clean, smooth hole there. Yeah, if that bit keeps doing that, that'll be a good bit. Not sure how long it'll last, but that, that did really well. All right, let me get us set up over at the press, and we'll see how this is going to work. And here is the dimple die. So the way that this works, it's real simple. You just put this in and press this together, and it's going to make... Uh, uh, the dimple into the steel. At least it sounds simple. So let's see how this is going to work. So you see how that goes right in there and then you can see how it's going to press it in. I don't guess it matters which one you do on top. Actually I'm going to flip mine over like that so that I can press against this flat part instead of the one that has the circle cut in it. I don't know if I'm supposed to little, put a little bit of oil in there, but it just seems like the thing to do for some reason. All right, here we go. I've been wanting to make these for a long time. Not sure how hard I'm supposed to go with it. Oh, I got a ways to go. And you see how the metal is starting to flatten out again? It had bowed up. That's probably why it wasn't all the way down yet. All right. And that looks pretty good. My bar is bending. It's flat again here. And let's see how that looks. I'm excited. Try not to raise that any more than I have to. Now I don't know if this just slips right off of here or what oh it does it just slips right off and look at that how perfect is that oh that's cool so you can imagine this on maybe some foot rails or on some skid plates my skid plates will be like this and so that is so that the water and mud will have a place that it can drain out. If I do it like this, I'm making a bowl in there and it'll be able to settle in rust. But I'm going to put them like this 
so that any water or anything will just run right out of them. And, and it'll also give this much more strength. Oh, that's cool. My first dimple die. I can't wait to use this on a project. That turned out great. If I had a faster way to drill the hole, putting the die in, putting the dimple in there is nothing. It's drilling the hole that's the hard part. If I had some kind of a mill or something that I could pump these holes out with really quickly, it would make all the difference in the world making these. So that might be my next big purchase is some kind of a drill press or something where we can put some big inch and a half holes in, in plate steel very, very quickly. Because that's pretty labor intensive doing it that way. Nice. I'm a dimple die maker. <laughs> well guys, the dimple dies turned out really cool and it really couldn't be easier. The hardest part, like I said, is drilling the hole. I'll put links down below on where I got all of these different items that I used today to make this little shape in this metal in case you want to go check that out. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you get all of my notifications. And if you know somebody that works with sheet metal, share this video with them. They can use this in their projects as well. And give me a thumbs up because you know it means a lot to me. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.